Hello friends, Jay Todd here, just off the Vegas Strip, standing in front of Sin City's best kept secret. What's behind this 12 foot fence with barbed wire across the top? Well, that's what we're trying to find out this week in gambling. Hello, my friends, and welcome to This Week in Gambling. I'm standing in front of the Janet Terminal, which is just about half a mile from the Vegas Strip across from Mandalay Bay. If you don't know what the Janet Terminal is, I highly recommend that you Google it or just Google Janet Airlines. If you've ever been in Las Vegas at the airport and seen those very nondescript white Boeing 737s with the red stripe down them and no other markings, those are Janet aircraft. They take off and land here several times a day. No one seems to pay any attention to them. But if you come to the Janet terminal, you will quickly realize something about these planes is special. This 12 foot fence behind me with barbed wire across the top is manned by a guard post back over there. And if you step up and try to talk to the person, you will be met with an armed security agent. He uh, told me I had permission to film out here as long as I didn't film anything too, you know, delicate like the car's parking lots. However, ever since that happened, I have been being visited by black SUVs that continue to circle me and they're completely blacked out just like that one. That was the sixth SUV that has come by just like that in the last 10 minutes. The first one pulled up, rolled down his window, saluted me, and then kept going. So yes, I am being watched. So what is so special about this place, this airline? Why the high security? Well, let's discuss Janet Airlines. Janet Airlines takes off and lands several flights a day in open view of the public at Harry Reid Airport in Las Vegas. They even use the same taxi and runways as commercial aircraft. You can follow their movements on popular flight tracking apps, watching as they take off and immediately turn toward any number of undisclosed locations. And if you continue to track their progress, it won't be long before you see these flights suddenly stop moving and disappear from radar and all other forms of tracking. This highly classified fleet of planes is operated by the U.S. Air Force as a shuttle service for military personnel, contractors, and Department of Defense workers, transporting them from Las Vegas to so-called special access program facilities. That includes the legendary Area 51, located 100 miles north of Sin City in the Nevada desert, which the American government opened in 1955 while denying that it even existed until 2013. In addition to the Las Vegas Airport and Area 51, Janet Aircraft fly into Groom Lake and the Tonopah Test Range in Nevada, along with several locations in California, including Edwards Air Force Base. Of course, some of you may also be wondering about the connection between Janet Airlines, Area 51, and the conspiracies involving UFOs and aliens, and we'll discuss that in just a moment. Moment. First, a friendly reminder that when we're not discussing Las Vegas Secret Airline, we are discussing the gambling news across Las Vegas, Nevada, and the U.S. And this week, our friends at Casino City are covering sports betting stories from Kentucky, North Carolina, and Maine, all the way up to Washington State. And you can get the most current gambling news every week by visiting them at online.com casinocity.com. Now, when it comes to secrets that hide at Area 51, which these employees on the Janet flights are helping to build, 
We can only speculate based on the history of the program. Amazing aircraft like the U-2 spy plane, the SR-71 Blackbird, and America's stealth aircraft all have ties to development and or testing at this secret military facility. And there's no telling what amazing projects those crazy kids are currently up to these days. While many people are becoming more accepting of the idea that we may not be alone in the universe, the US government has not admitted to having any otherworldly technology or extraterrestrial visitors hidden in the desert. But why would they? even if it were true. As for the Janet fleet, no one is certain why these aircraft and their terminal are referred to by that name. One idea is that it's an acronym for Joint Air Network for Employee Transportation. Still, another theory proposes that it could stand for just another non-existent terminal even if you can see it sitting right there in plain view as you fly into and out of Las Vegas. The truth is out there.